about to be uh, having to face the fact that winter's coming. And, you know, I've had uh, some pretty meager success growing tomatoes. But I think the tomato bush is about done. Um, and I didn't really have, I got a few tomatoes, but I didn't really have a lot of success. I don't know if I'll even mess with them or not, but I'm going to want to get them out of here. I'm going to want to cover the pool. I'm going to want to disconnect the pump so it don't freeze and put it away somewhere. And I'm going to want to... I may want to cut this, just trim this tree a little bit. Of course, we can still get down through here, but... Honey Baby said something about trimming it the other day, and it's probably not a bad idea. It's, uh, tomorrow's going to be the first day of October. It's still mm, warm-ish. Uh, we've got some neighbors that want to plan the kayaking trip for tomorrow. I think it might be one of the last times when it's warm enough to get out on the river, on the creeks. And I pulled the kayaks up here yesterday, and I'm going to get the pressure washer out and uh, clean them pretty good, because they've been sitting for quite a while. And I think I'm going to get the pontoon boat out later and uh, get it ready for, uh, well, just basically put it away and clean it and everything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. That's what's coming up. That's what's going to be happening around here. So, getting ready for uh, winter. Go with the joy. Ah, beautiful day. Beautiful sunshine this morning. Lovely. I could do. I don't know if I need to do an update on the Chevy motor or not that goes in the Rambler. The very next thing I'm going to do with the Rambler is pull the motor out of it, but I don't think I'm going to start that till Monday. So I'm taking the weekend off to do other things while we got the weather for it. <clears throat> and then we'll go after that later. Okay. Well, me and Honey Baby are both a little bit sick today. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, this is Sunday. We normally go to church on Sunday, and we had some friends that wanted to go kayaking. And I pulled the kayaks up and washed them, pressure washed them. They'd been sitting down there in the edge of the woods for over a year, and it got pretty nasty. Boy, that pressure washer did a heck of a good job of cleaning them up. Um, I sh sh should have, and I don't usually the word sh usually use the word should, but it would have been nice if I'd have shot a picture of how nasty they were so I could show you how good they look now, but uh, at least I can show you how good they look now. Uh, I think these blue ones, it's hard to get stuff in them out unless you scoop it out. And I think this one here still has, oh, a bunch of crap at the bottom of it and I'm gonna need to scoop that one out. Same with that one. These other ones here that don't have a Man. you can see that stuff down in there. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that out. This stuff up under there. These ones you can wash them out and that works pretty good. We also pulled out the big boat uh, it's been sitting in there long enough so that it's growing this slimy stuff on the bottom of it. I'm going to get out some acid and pressure wash all that off of there later on. i got that to do. Mm, this little thing I noticed came off the other day. That goes right there. Uh, it feels a little bit good to be out in the sunshine to me when I'm sick and to get to breathe some fresh air and it looks like today is going to be a day where I won't be getting out much because I don't feel great and honey baby's sick so 
Y'all pray for the people that need prayers. I know quite a few. I know people who have all various things going on, health issues, a lot worse than mine. And I know a guy's got a little girl that's sick. He's a he's a YouTuber. I won't call his name. I know some YouTubers has got things, and uh, we all need God's help to get us through. I pray for God to help people. I pray for people I know. I pray for people I don't know. I pray for people I like. I pray for people I don't like. That's what the Bible says. It says, uh, this is not to hate your enemies, but to love people and pray for those who persecute you. So, I ain't being persecuted much. But there's a lot of people who who could and would if the conditions is right. So I pray for them. Mostly I pray for them to have a better heart. That's what we all could use, is a little better heart than the ones we walk around with every day. Okay then. Love y'all. See you soon. Bye-bye.